What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're taking a look at a real moldy oldie HP 6200 small form factor, eight year old system, but I still see this one on sale wherever I go. This particular unit has been used for about eight years in a very harsh environment and it's still working. The fan just barely hobbles along. Let's take a look at a uh, benchmark. Let's take a look at how good it is because it does still have a quad core i3 chip in it, which makes it still good, meaning you can even use this thing for some uh, low quality gaming if you can get a good enough video card in it. But let's have a look inside. Let's look at how much we can upgrade and let's see how much power we can get out of it. So here's a quick look at the inside. As you can see, it definitely ate a lot of oil. There's a lot going on in here. Right now I updated it so that it has a SSD. You got a Western Digital 256 gigabyte hard drive. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. I'm kind of surprised it'll take DDR3. And then we have, of course, the power supply, the um, CD drive, very old. Of course, doesn't work. It's unfortunate because most CD drives will stop working because of a little spring. Oh my God, it still works. And it doesn't look half bad. Ho ho ho. I'm uh, I'm really impressed by that. This was from back in the day when HP actually meant quality. So let's take a look at the back, shall we? So as you can see back here, we definitely have a lot of oil. I've tried to clean it off quite a bit, but uh, to no, to little, to no luck. We have six USBs, one network. Of course, we have the PS2 and the serial. I've got Windows 10 on this thing. I actually have Windows 10 installed. So let's give this thing a benchmark and see how well it does. Anyways, as you can see here, 16 gigabytes of RAM, not bad. Core i3, 2120. That's definitely an older build. Uh, quad core though, quad core. Can't complain about that. Anyways, uh, Intel HD for video. Now we're going to run benchmark pass mark and see how she does. Alrighty folks, here we go. Oh my goodness. Those planes are actually flying. 12 frames per second. I've seen newer systems uh, perform this poorly. I shouldn't say, really say poorly because this is not doing too bad. My goodness. Okay, I am seriously surprised that it's, it's lasting this long. We got uh, uh, as, low, as high as 3 and as low as 0.3 frames per second. But still, it's going. It's going. So it looks like that's it. We got DirectX 11, DirectX, uh, or sorry, DirectX 9 and 10 tests, the 11 and 12 bypass. So we'll have to wait and see what the overall score is. All right, so we get a score of 244.6. This is um, this is worse than the Lenovo 0830 Core 2 SSD with four gigabytes that I found at a Value Village. Let's see if I can throw a, a video card in this and get a much better um, mark. All right, we're going into round two with the Quattro K600 video card. Let's see if it helps us out. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course it's going to help us out. Let's see how well it does. Now we are up to 18 frames a second. Not bad. K600 video card. Definitely improving the um, ActiveX 9. And on the DirectX 10, we got 5 frames per second, up to 10, definitely better than the 3 to 0.5 that we were experiencing before. Not bad. I think it actually looks better now, too. Now, I could be wrong. All right, getting some of that sweet DirectX 11 in. We are getting how many frames a second? We are getting 18 frames per second. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be better. Next up, we have Direct X 12. 5.53 frames per second. Looking pretty good. I've definitely seen better, definitely. But what can you say? This is a uh, this is an old computer, and even the video card's pretty old by now. K 600. Of 
course it looks better on the screen. I don't want to do a screen grab because that will affect the benchmark, but still not bad. Let's wait and see what the end score is. All right, so those are more agreeable numbers. That number is better than the benchmark that I got on a Microsoft Surface Go. It's also better than a Lenovo T420 uh, laptop. And it's just about up there with the Lenovo T500. T, yeah, T, Lenovo T500, so it's not too bad. If this is the kind of system that you're looking at for multiple things, I wouldn't use it for gaming, but if you wanted it for office stuff, it would be great for that. So yeah, definitely not a good system for gaming. We got a low profile thing on here. We got a fan in here. This fan's seen better days. I'm gonna have to replace that, but still 16 gigs, four slots for RAM. Really little, very small proprietary uh, power supply. When that goes, this thing goes, of course. We got a SSD hard drive. I got a docking tray. I can put that in. This thing originally came with a 500 gigabyte unit that actually worked. This comes from back in the time when HP was actually a good name and people kind of liked it. So not bad. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me, Nev from Nest Tech. But it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Always appreciate it. And as always, folks, take care of each other.